What's up guys, we're going to be going into a game on Wraith, on the Armory, and uh, this is a little bit different of what I normally do because this is some post-game commentary. So I played this game without commentating on it because uh, the guys that I was play uh, playing against were pretty good. I knew that the, the Apex guy is really good, and I had played with Mad Bro and CFM Pants, and they were both really good, and then we get some random that joins in here. So I already know the outcome of this game, and it was a very difficult game, as you'll see. And I actually just want to go back through it and see where I made some mistakes uh, is the main thing. So it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be looking for my mistakes, looking for the plays that I made correctly. And uh, I do lose this game. So I know it's a little bit of spoilers, but it's kind of like a different a different feel for, for the way that I want to do this video. Uh, because the way that I felt after this game is that Wraith is my best monster right now. It's easiest for me. And I think it's one of the easiest monsters to get wins against random pubs that aren't very good at the game. But when people get to a certain level where they're able to actually hit the Wraith with their weapons consistently enough to dish out a steady amount of damage during a dome, I had a feeling after this game that I there wasn't a whole lot that I could have done better. Um, and the only situation where I think I could have won is if I all into them at some point when I got a down penalty. Because of the, lo the small uh, pool of health that you can't really do my standard style of uh, hit-and-run tactics, where you get a couple down penalties and you run away and get armor, and keep doing that because you're always going to be taking little bits of health damage. So I want to rewatch this game, see if there's any any major mistakes that I can spot after watching it kind of from a, a viewer perspe perspective here. So I do my standard run uh, on armory that I do with Goliath, because I just think it's the best way to start off on armory. So I go down here, I eat these three bodies, and I look for two plane striders, two to three plane striders if I can get three in a group as well um, that are usually right down here as you can see they're right there I do waste my um, warp blast but I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world because I just use a heavy attack to kill them anyway so I think this is a pretty good start as of right now I don't see any problems with this here do I miss this no I hit both of these so so far this is looking like about the best start that I can get on armory I'm almost evolved ready, and it's almost like feeding speed uh, levels of quickness that I'm getting this evolved ready here. I actually feel like I play I played this game of Wraith better than almost any of my other games of Wraith that I've played. At least when I was playing it, like I felt like I was doing really well, but every time I looked at my health, it was low, like lower than I I would normally have expected. You don't really play against really good teams that often in this game. A lot of people are pretty bad at the game. Um, so I go after Trapper here. This might be a mistake. It is Crow, so it's not the easiest thing. They have a Veil. I should have re-looked at uh, what their what their team setup was. So I, hear, I see a Hank as well. So Hank should be my focus. I think that was an orbital from Hank. And, and a, a Lennox. Okay. So Veil or Hank should be the focus, but if I focus them, I'm stuck inside of this dome. So right here, I don't have any stamina, and they're doing a really good job dishing out damage. I find a little hole here that I'm able to hide in. I really just want to get out of this dome without taking any damage and getting the wall off. That's the goal. So I use the... There's, you can hit through the wall with abilities, so I use the AoE on my rank 3 Warp Blast to deal a little bit of damage. And then now my primary target gets downed. So that's super good. I took one bar, one bar of health for that, though. And on Wraith, health is super important because you don't have a huge pool to work with. So I would still say that that's worth it. I get to, as long as I get my Evolve up without taking too much extra damage, I think that it's good. So right now I'm just trying to create distance, which I'm doing a pretty good job at. I didn't waste a whole lot of stamina uh, like before the dome ended, so I should be able to get a good amount of distance here and get an Evolve up. So so far I don't think that this game is that bad. Uh, I did take a little bit of damage from that Reaver, actually quite a bit. I took maybe a fifth of a health bar in like two shots. So I take my Abduction. I think it's still a good build for me to go uh, Warp Blast Abduction. I don't think that's bad. I think you might actually waste some uh, distance, some like traversal distance if you warp uh, really, really quick. So if you hit like space bar, space bar, space bar really, really quick, I think you might waste a little bit because... You haven't traveled the entire distance before you warp again. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it did seem like it there. 
So that might have been a small mistake. So now they have me pinned here. I try to get out. Do I get domed? Because if I get domed, there's, that's a big reason why I would lose this game. This could be like a game-ending dome if they get it. Uh, and I'm not able to armor up inside of it. So I think the trapper is cutting me off right here, and I noticed that. So I'm going to double back. I feel like that's smart. The only thing I really need to do right now is to try to get myself some armor, because I'm probably not going to get out of this without getting domed. So I get a little bit of armor, and then Hank overexposes. So I remember this point. I'm going on Hank here. Uh, he cloaks. I saw him fly back a little bit. I think I don't get the down penalty, but he's super low health. And then again, I see the trapper still waiting in mid. That's what you're supposed to do as trapper. He's in a good position. I can't get by him without getting domed. So I have to run back farther into the corner to try to get some armor. And I take way too much damage from that. From both of those mammoth birds. That's almost a bar of health, so that's a mistake. But it could have been avoided. Okay, and he actually misses the dome. Uh, it was a little bit of dodging. I remember this play as I saw the trapper boosting towards me out of the my peripheral vision there. And uh, I was able to kind of like dodge a little bit away from him. And he threw the dome anyway. So this is actually a good thing for me. Because again, I'm not able to get any armor. They're doing a really good job of pressuring me. And there's another half bar when I'm trying to eat that meal. And it's going to turn into almost one full bar. And this is just like a ton of pressure getting put on me right now because I can't create enough distance. So it might also be a map specific thing. I do like to play feeding speed on this map so that you can get a free evolve off of the Goliath. And I actually took a ton of damage just retreating there through the middle of the map. This is Assault doing a really good job at pressuring me. All the other three are staying kind of back a little bit farther, so, um, you know, I have to go to them. And the Assault's just doing a good job being up in my face. I could go on the Assault and force them to come to me, which it looks like is what I'm going to do here. But I'm going to get domed and I only have two bars of armor, or not even two bars of armor. Uh, I might even get the down penalty there, I don't remember. Yeah, I do. So I actually... DPS'd him so quickly that I was able to um, make it so he didn't even get to use his shield, which is super good. And I actually did get the down penalty on that Hank. So right now I'm at three down penalties and about half my armor. So I would still say that this is an even game, uh, but it's very close. And maybe it's not an even game. This is where the situation is, where it's like maybe when I get that down penalty on Lennox, I have to all in there, but I'm not full armor, so it's kind of weird. It might be one of those map-specific things where I'm just not able to create enough distance on the Wraith, because uh, the Wraith is one of the quickest in combat, but actually just traversing the map, her warps aren't as long as, say, a Goliath Leaf or, um, you know, a Kraken Flying or something like that. Although Kraken probably has a little less mobility. So right now I've pretty much lost the game, I would say, at this point. I've taken too much health damage, and you'll see in a second here that one of them makes the correct call to just wait at the base because I'm not able, I'm not going to be able to end it. And um, the rest of the game is kind of me trying to win a lost game through some clutch of ducks and stuff like that. So at this at this point in the game, I think that it's already over. And I'm trying to think about what I should have done differently to make this a different outcome. And um, I think all inning at, I don't think I could have all in at stage one when I got the first down penalty on Hank. I got a second down penalty up towards the north side, but I was never... Oh my god, that's so much damage that I've taken from wildlife this game, though. I think if I hadn't taken damage from wildlife as well, that the game changes also. Because I took, like, half a bar from Reavers, a bar from Mega, Mega Melts, and then another half bar. So, like, two bars from wildlife, which is pretty bad. And you make little mistakes like that, and I didn't notice it in-game when I was making them, those mistakes, because I was under so much pressure to move across the map, I wasn't able to like watch for aggressive wildlife. So it's definitely a mistake that I made. I clipped through that Mega Mouth, which isn't good. Um, so I could have all into them at the north side when I didn't have armor, when I downed the Hank, or when I downed the Lennox. Uh, not taking that health damage from, like two and a half bars or so. I don't know if that puts me in a position to win. I would have three bars right now, and then an Evolve would give me, I think, two more. 
So that probably is still winnable if I don't take any uh, any wildlife damage, but I think you're going to take at least a little bit of wildlife damage. You can kind of hope that it only hits your armor, but I think just traversing the map, you will get hit by like a mammoth bird once or twice in a map. And then there could be the situation where I need to pick Goliath with feeding speed on this map. That's the reason why I may actually did this map and figured out a build where I could get an evolve off without getting domed the first time, because once you get domed, it's really hard to create distance on this map. You pretty much have to run through them every time you want to get to another corner of the map because of that tight center area that a, a trapper can sit inside of. So they definitely played well this game and put me under a lot of pressure. I do think that this game was winnable, though. I'm at like three or four down penalties, which is pretty good. And I, I believe I get a, a one or two more down penalties as well with uh, some clutch abducts here in a second. I go for this uh, CDR because I feel like that's the only chance I have to win. And yeah, it's two bars, so right now I would have like four and a half or five bars of health if I didn't take any wildlife damage, which is enough to win. So I think wildlife damage is one of the biggest mistakes I made this game. And then maybe a little bit on traversing the map if I use my warps a little bit too quickly are the two big things. And I need to be better about choosing when to all in. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to get good at that if I use Wraith at higher level competitive play. Because once Ranked comes out, I don't know if there's going to be the player base to actually support uh, Ranked mode. I'm not 100% sure. But if there is, I'm going to get matched with people that are a lot better than the common pubs that I generally play with. So I need to get better at these things. So that's kind of why um, I like games against these higher tier players, because it teaches you a lot more about the game. You can see that uh, that Trapper is actually using his charge up shot when I'm abducting to just whittle down my hit points, because he knows I'm trying to go for, uh, you know, I have to get an abduct really to win this game. I have to get a clutch abduct on a priority target for me to have any chance, which is what I'm doing here, right? I want to give myself any, every chance to win this game. So that actually would have landed if it was a little bit longer of an abduct, but it's just a little bit too far. I think it would have landed. I'm not 100% sure. They could have dodged out of the way, but it was a little too far. I try to get a different angle. I mean, this is how you kind of want to go into a relay fight anyway, if you want to have your best chances on right. Is you want a, a clutch abduct. Even if you have a lot of health, you don't want to just charge right in. It's better to take out a player of their enemy team before you go in. So I think I get my abduct right here. Maybe not this one. One of these I do land an abduct, though, and it, I think the end of the game happens. They also have Tyrant buff. I might have... I mean, I think the game's already over, but I probably should wait it out. Because I think that there's still a little bit of time left. Yeah, so there's my... I get a abduct on Trapper, and I think this is where I choose to go in. I get a nice couple swipes with my uh, Supernova as well. And I think this is the end of... nope, he actually survives. So I get a couple people low here. And then deciding to leave here, probably a mistake. I think this is my only chance to win, is at this point, but for some reason I am like conditioned to always run after a dome is down and I'm out of armor. It's just what I've been doing since Alpha. But I definitely think that there is times when you have to all in, especially on Wraith because it's a little helpful. And I think it's only an issue against really high level players. But again, looking at this and saying that I should have two and a half to three bars more health if I don't take wildlife damage, this is easily a winnable game with, I think, four or five down penalties I have right now. So I think that's the biggest mistake I made. So I think this game was definitely winnable. A lot of high-level monster players say that Wraith is not viable at the highest level of play, 
And I can see where they're coming from at least a little bit because it'll be helpful, but... Oh yeah, so this was the priority target that uh, I was looking for. That's Hank right there that I got. Um, I don't kill him, so to speak, but I also get a nice... There's there's the Hank death and uh, hit on Val, which is my second priority target. So this is like another chance that I kind of have to win the game here. I should have heavy attacked her off of that instead of trying to warp blast her there. Small mistake, not a big deal, but... It's still a pretty close game, even though I took so much damage. I think, had I not taken that wildlife damage, I took another Lamath for hit there as well. Um, this might have been differently, but that's going to end up being the game. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.